Hello students, welcome to Ananita Nam classroom. My today's topic is Introduction to Java. Now all of you know about Java. Java is an object oriented programming language. Now I want to discuss some history and development of Java. Java was developed primarily by James Kotlin and his colleagues at Sun Microsystems. Sun Microsystems is a company named James Kotlin has been associated with Sun Microsystems and developed Java programming language in 1991. The language was initially called Oak. Oak is a key name. Jim Kotlin named the language Oak while sharing at an Oak tree outside his office window. The name Oak was later dismissed and now it is named as now, all of you want to see the picture of James Kotlin. Here is the picture of James Kotlin. Now, there are two types of Java programs. First one is standalone system or Java application. And second one is internet applet or Java applet. Now, comes to the basic features of Java. First point is Java is an object oriented programming language that all of you know. Then the second point is Java programs are both compiled and interpreted. Now I want to explain these points first before I go to the next point. What is the meaning of compiled and interpreted? Compile means it. First, I want to discuss about compiler. Then you understand what is compiler. Compiler means suppose you only understand Hindi and I only understand English. Then how we two communicate with each other? Then we need one translator. That means that person who can understand both of this language, English as well as Hindi. Then he can translate from English to Hindi and Hindi to English and we both can communicate with each other. Like this, computer only understands machine level language or low level language. And we as a human being understand only high level language which is nearer to English. Now there is a need of translator. From high level language that means nearer to English, that means high level language example is like Java, we need to translate it machine level language which is understood by computer. So here is a need of translator. And one of the example of translator is compiler. So students, you can understand what is compiler and what is the need of compiler to translate from high level language to low level language, from our language to machine language. Here is the definition of compiler. A compiler is a translating program that translates the instruction of a high level language to machine language. High level language example like Java, like C, like C++, Basic and machine level language means computer understandable language. It is a form of 0, 1. A program which is input to a compiler is called a source program. Whatever we write in a high level language, that program is called source program. This program is now converted to a machine level language. By a machine level language, by a compiler is known as the object program or object code. After source program translated to compiler and is called object program. Now, I think it's clear to you 
what is compiler and what is compiled. Now, there is another translator called interpreter. Both of these are translator. Both of their works are same. So, this is also translate from high level to machine level. Both are translator, compiler as well as interpreter. Both are translator. But then, what is the difference between these two? The difference between this compiler and interpreter is, compiler translates whole program at once. Whole program at once. Suppose, who are translators between you and me, he translates the whole words, whatever I say, uh, in English and translate the whole things to you after I have finished. But interpreter converts the source program into object code one line at a time. That means if uh, the translator uh, uh, instructs us that map you tell one line, then I translate to a Hindi. Then I tell one line and he translates to Hindi. So if he is doing line by line translation, then it's called interpreter. Then the second point is as it translates whole program at once, it also gets errors for the whole program and then it after we rectifying all errors, then the compilation process is complete. And here, the, the interpreter finds errors one line at a time and after correcting that particular error, it goes to the next line. So, students, I uh, think you understand what is the difference between compiler and interpreter. Then, come to the next point. We we need one translator for translating from source code to object code. That means from high level language to low level language. But Java uh, uses both compiler as well as interpreter. Why Java uses both? So any one translator is enough for us. But why Java uses both? This is one of the important questions here. Here is a Java source code. First, it used compiler as a translator and translate it as uh, one new type of code which is called byte code. Byte code means it is an intermediate code which makes Java platform independent. Platform independent means we can run Java in any software. That means if we have Windows any version unique Linux, we can run Java very easily. So that makes Java portable and platform independent. Platform independent means that when we say we can run Java in any operating system we have. Then this byte code then take the help of the user and transform it to object code that is machine code. That means first high level language, then after compilation it comes a intermediate code by code, then there is another translator interpreter and it transfers to the machine level language or low level language. That's why Java needs both compiler as well as interpreter because in other languages from direct conversion from high level to low level language only one translator is used. But in case of Java, there are two times uh, translate translation needed here. One is for one is from high level language to byte code and then byte code to low level language. That's why there will be two translators from high level language to byte code in between compiler are there and 